we're standing in the Vasa Museum and as you see it's this fantastic ship that sank on its maiden voyage in 1628. I am here to tell you about our new exhibition, Vasa Up Close, which is a way of getting, as you hear, closer to the ship but also to the fantastic sculptures of Vasa. I think that a lot of people, when they think about the Vasa, they see something brown in their head, but actually when it sailed, it was bright and colorful. There were about 700 sculptures and they were all painted in vivid colors and also clad with gold and so on. So it was quite a different experience then. The sculptures told basically the story about the powerful king Gustavus Adolphus and that he was the rightful ruler of Sweden. He had gotten his power both from God, from his father and also from the people. And the reason that he felt the need to say this was that he was in war with his cousin Sigmund of Poland who uh, had a rightful claim to the throne. Sweden was at war with Poland. Sweden was also considering getting involved in the Thirty Years' War, so was working a lot on, on arming the army and also building new expensive ships. Uh, this was, of course, important uh, for war reasons, uh, to, to fight battles, but it, they were also instruments of propaganda. And we see very, very clearly on the Vasa that so much time and money was spent on sculptures that did not work as canon, but had a symbolic meaning. What's interesting about the sculptures is that they show such a variety of symbols and images. We have the young king himself, we have the Swedish people, we have the national coat of arms and the Vasa coat of arms, but we also have Roman empires, we have plenty of lions, we have mythological figures from antiquity, we have sea creatures, so it's really a fantastic blend of different images. They were painted by really masters of their time who had fantastic colors at their disposal and we've been doing a lot of research about this so we actually know what the sculptures looked like. And of course it was a show off. The people behind the ship wanted uh, the audience to really be amazed. Mm -hmm. 